Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Griselda. In this video, I'm going to share my Tarani haul that I literally just received. I actually already opened it, so I'm not going to show you but it was in this i only got four syrups but it was in this huge box packaged really well it was packaged like wine bottles which made me really excited because i don't know it was packaged just really well very secure so i got four different syrup flavors let me show you I got two of their pure made syrups. So I got the salted caramel, which I have been enjoying just in the regular line. I guess not the pure, pure made line. Salted caramel, which has been delicious with I think almost every coffee I've had it with. I don't think I've had one that I didn't like. And I also got ube. If you're not familiar with ube, it's a, you can see it's like a, uh, it's in the sweet potato family. It's a really popular ingredient for certain desserts. I see it in more Filipino desserts and drinks. So I'm super excited about having it in a latte. I'm actually, I plan on making a latte right now as soon as I'm done showing the other the other syrups I got I have had it from a local coffee shop to me an ube an ube latte and it was delicious like the I personally love the flavor of ube let me see if there is a description <laughs> I'll put a po picture of what I'm looking at this syrup perfectly captures the nutty creamy taste of the Filipino root vegetable with a smooth vanilla finish GMO free with no artificial flavors colors or preservatives it's the perfect syrup for flavoring tea lattes cold brew and iced teas without compromise so that is the other thing that I wanted to mention is about the pure made syrup So like this is the label of any it's like this red label that goes across the Tarani syrup compared to My light might be like way too strong, but it's like this is the regular. This is a little one. This is a regular Actually here, let me turn it down a little bit. Maybe a little bit dark now, but this is what the regular Tarani packaging looks like compared to the Pure Maid has that red banner or thing across here that shows you it's Pure Maid. And then in case you're curious, I'll just put up a picture right here on the side, just kind of showing you what the differences are between the regular or the original and the Pure Maid. It has a couple of, there's like four or five differences. Shelf life is one of the biggest ones that I noticed because I, I'm buying all of these syrups now and I wanna make sure that I'm able to keep them for kind of a long time. I mean, not too long, but for like a longer period of time. Uh, because I'm not gonna like this is huge. I mean this is 25 ounces and I'm the only one drinking these My husband's a diabetic so he doesn't normally drink or like doesn't prefer super sweet drinks But I'm gonna I'm gonna get into that in a moment So yeah, no artificial preservatives like that's the kind of stuff So I'll put it right here just so you can get a quick shot of what that is and then going into The other two syrups that I got I got two of the Tarani pure made syrups in the zero sugar line So these are the vanilla and what is this? Caramel, so zero sugar. So I will post a picture right here so you can see what the difference is between zero sugar and this one that we currently have, which is white chocolate sugar-free. So I'll post a picture here so you can see the difference. Really, it's just the Splenda and a couple of other differences, but I'll post a picture here so you can see it. I am super excited to have these syrups. I even, from Amazon, I bought the, like, the pumps. So I have a pump for each. And I'm in the process of like redecorating my situation over here. <laughs> I'm not a diabetic. My husband is. And so he prefers, you know, those, or not prefers, but he likes having those options for him since it isn't available everywhere. Like a no sugar, zero sugar option for him to be able to feel like he's also indulging in like a sweet drink or like a special treat because he doesn't normally like 
you know, having sweet things, desserts or drinks or anything. So I wanted to take advantage of the options that they have and be able to have it at home because like, I'm going on a tangent. Like if you are familiar with Starbucks uh, skinny or sugar-free drinks, they have started to remove a lot of their drinks and I'm sure they will come out with new ones at some point. Um, and there's all these rumors or speculations as to why and I don't know because I don't work for Starbucks. So I have just noticed that slowly but surely most of their sugar-free options have disappeared and now it's really just vanilla which is fine vanilla the vanilla sugar-free vanilla syrup or sugar-free vanilla latte that they have that they offer is delicious we actually really enjoy that and that used to be our go-to but now as i am purchasing more coffee syrups and and different types of coffees and making my own then i'm really just enjoying it enjoying what i'm making at home and i don't necessarily feel like i need to go out and buy one of those lattes somewhere else where i would normally make it a habit of going once a week to some kind of a coffee place to get like a sweet flavored latte when I can just really make it at home on my Nespresso and you see right next to the Nespresso there's a Keurig which is the machine that my husband uses because he prefers the Keurig and I'm my my evil plan is to figure out a way to get him off of the Keurig so we can just have Nespresso um coffees but he really loves the drink the coffee he really really loves the Keurig so for now it'll stay but until I can until I can get get him to switch completely over to Nespresso but he doesn't like he likes a medium light to medium roast coffee when it comes to Nespresso compared to like that is like the most comparable to his Keurig and he hasn't found one that he love, has fallen in love with but I'm gonna keep trying because I want to get rid of it nobody tell him if you're watching babe turn away I'm also expecting another syrup delivery by Monin. So why, why am I insane? I might be, but like I said, I am really going 100% into making coffees that I like, that I want to drink, that I'm excited to drink at home without having to go anywhere because I have two perfectly capable, coffee capable making machines here. There's really no need for me to go anywhere for coffee unless like I'm already out and for whatever reason I haven't had coffee. I'm really, <laughs> really going hard into this, uh, coffee syrup life and i'm finding i like it better than creamer before if you're familiar with my channel at all if you've seen any of my previous vlogs i was actively seeking as many cream like i think maybe i was trying to compete in like a guinness book of records like how many different creamers could i keep in my refrigerator before my husband would like lose his shit because i was picking up all kinds of different flavors of creamers just to try and now i'm like i just need almond milk and oat milk unsweetened and then I can do whatever I want with it and I'm really liking that kind of coffee style. I don't know if it's a style, but I'm really preferring that method of making my own coffee than a creamer. So I haven't really bought any creamers and maybe I will later, but right now I'm sticking to unsweetened almond milk and oat milk and maybe I'll look into creamers at some point, but I haven't started mixing um, like flavored creamers with uh, syrup. So maybe I'll do that next time or at some point. I mean, we, who knows? The months of November and December bring many surprises. So anyway, I am going to make an ube latte. I hope it comes out. I mean, I don't know if you can even see like the color. It looks almost red, pink. Whenever I've had an ube latte is like purple, purple. If you, um, and I'm sure that's probably from like extract and I don't have, I never ended up buying ube extract, but I hope it comes out kind of purpley. I plan on making a latte right now. It's actually noon, afternoon, after 12. And I was waiting for this delivery. So I haven't had coffee because I didn't want to make two coffees. And so right now I'm thirsty. Let's go make a coffee. For this latte, I'm going to use one capsule of the El Cafe. This is one ounce, this is one shot. So it is 40 ml. 1.35 it's this beautiful green this makes me think of christmas it's a beautiful color so i'm going to do one of these oat milk and probably two pumps of the syrup let's try okay so let's all right actually i want to smell it and i'm and i have a um pump already ready Ooh, wow 
don't know if you're supposed to mix it or do anything, but okay. I'm gonna use my regular milk frother. I'm going to put two pumps of that in the milk frother and then fill it to the max froth line. I don't know if you can even see it uh, with oat milk. Oh my gosh, it's so purpley. If you can even see it. You see it? No. I'm gonna use planet oat. Okay, time to froth. I forgot I had these Nespresso, you can see the Erkin Nespresso cups. Okay, it's not purple, but I'm gonna pour the milk. Mm, right. It sure smells like ube. So I'm gonna use my one pod. Okay, so check out the layers. Oh, it smells so good. All right, I'm gonna mix because that's what I do. It's still, it's not super light. But let me, and look at all this crema. And it's still like three layers. It looks like a brown version of like a um, candy corn. I love El Cafe so much. I feel like I'm gonna order 15 of them. Wow. The f I only put two pumps. And I think each pump is a quarter of an ounce, something like that. So, um, so it's not, I didn't put that much in here, but it is a very subtle flavor, but so good. Like it's not, it doesn't need to be sweetened in my opinion. And I don't need things overly sweet. Like I love that I can taste the flavor of the coffee itself. Cause it's a really strong coffee and I love that this flavor, but it is so good. Wow, that's delicious, guys. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. I decided to place the order because I honestly was like very worried about buying so many pumps, but wow, that sold me. So this ube will be on heavy rotation. That is the video. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate all of the uh, messages on Instagram, the comments, likes. Uh, please subscribe if you'd like to see more coffee and beauty content from me. Thank you so much for watching. Have a fantastic day i hope you've already had my coffee i mean wait i hope you've already had your coffee i haven't had mine have a great day bye